So basically, I wanted to make this little video on uh, the Houston cast, uh, which is located in Herman Park. And I'm going to explain to you why and what these images, what the objects in these images mean. To the left here, there is a, a map of Herman Park in 1981. And they show the tracks, how that looked. That was redone, and they uh, remodeled the tracks. So this cask actually takes a little more imagination to be built in the perspective correctly. And also the fountain has been moved over, which uh, is mentioned in the verse, that we would be able to see the fountain from the cask location. But the, the fountain was moved over because this area in Houston actually collects a lot of wind. And it was actually, the, the fountain wasn't shooting out straight. So they moved it over to get it out of the wind. So there were some corrections done in this park, um, some uh, renovations over the years. But now let's get into the image to where I'm going to prove to you right now that this image is for Herman Park in Houston. This pillar right here is actually a clue to get a person to the correct park in the correct city. And if you go on to Google, or if you Google Maps or use any type of map over Houston, you're going to see that this is the fountain area. And there's a big head here. Okay right over Houston Park. So that was a clue that didn't mean that you're near the location. It just means that um, I'm getting you to the correct park in the correct city. So we expected people to notice this pillar from an above view map. Now, a lot of people probably question why are there animals on the on the pillars here? Well, these animals actually have to do with the park also, because there is a zoo in the park. So that was a clue to tell you that Herman Park has a zoo. There's animals there. Now here, this is the fountain that spit out water. Spits out water. And that is important because that is visible from the cast location. The head, the head on this man right here was also a clue. Because it is actually a building that the mini train passes as it goes through the park. So Byron took a note of that because Byron rode the train to the park evidently, and uh, while he was riding the train to the park, he observed his surroundings and was inspired, and uh, obviously he thought to himself, I'm going to hide my cask over there, and he came back and did this in December, as the poem, the verse, mentioned. He, uh, you know, fortress north, cold as glass, it's cold as glass because uh, it's frozen. And then later on in the poem, he talks about um, our greatest tower of delight falls gently in, a Dece in December night. And he's talking about leaves, actually, that fall from a certain types of trees that I'm not going to get into because I haven't gone there and did it myself yet. But also, right here, here's the proof right here that you are using a train. These are train tracks. Okay, so that's also very vital to find in the cast location. But some, but these train tracks could have been removed. People, people don't realize that. And uh, I really like this verse because um, in it, Byron mentions um, you should not, perspective should not be lost. And that's, that's evident to all of these hunts, that people lose the perspective when imagination is more important than knowledge. 
you're going to need imagination to con continue the perspective and know where to keep following along. You know, it's very easy to get lost in, in the perspective and go to lose the trail. That's what happens to a lot of people. They actually find a bunch of clues in a lot of hunts, and then they, the trail is lost. Well, I'm a guy who comes in professionally, and I find the same.